everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to show you some fabrics that I've got recently. I've only bought one pattern this month or last month, last month. Um, so I've got one pattern and I actually I have to admit I haven't bought that much fabric but I'm really excited about what I have been buying so I just thought I'd show you. Okay so the first thing that I've bought this month is some denim. Now I've been going on and on about making a denim jacket for ages and I haven't actually got around to it um, and in this video I've bought two denims recently because I'm planning two denim jackets. Um, it'll all become clear when you see the other denim jacket, um, the other denim fabric. Um, so this is the first denim I got, it's just a plain mid blue cotton denim from Minerva Crafts. It's a really good weight, it's not too thin but it's not too thick um, and it does feel really soft but with like that, that nice sort of rigid denim feel so it's going to be a nice structured jacket but yeah I just really like the colour and for like a plain denim jacket I thought this was going to be perfect. Okay so this is the next denim, don't pass out. Oh, I just absolutely love this. So this is a fabric that I bought from The Handmade Fair at Bowood House because um, you may or may not know that I was teaching there um, a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? It was like two weekends ago. Um, and there was a fabric sellers there, two lovely guys, I think they were brothers, um, and they are called Fabric King. Um, I'll put all the links below so that you've got them. But they had loads of amazing denims, and this embroidered denim was one of them. They actually had quite a few embroidered denims, um, but by like the Saturday, half of them were already gone because that's how popular they were and I knew that I really wanted this one because again it's a mid blue denim because I think that colour suits me best um, but the embroidery on it is so bright, so colourful um, I just really like the style of it and I thought another denim jacket in this would be so much fun to wear um, it is a bit thinner than the other denim that I got but I think it would be nice as like a summery lightweight jacket so I'm very excited to make that the next fabric I also bought from Fabric King at the Handmade Fair. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I should show you this or not because, I mean, the palm print obsession is getting out of hand. But I bought another palm print jersey. It's just bright. It's leafy, my fave. Um, it's super soft. I'm really impressed by the quality and they were really, really good prices. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to buying lots from them again. Um, but I just absolutely love this print and I knew as soon as I saw it I had to have it and I got what was left on the roll so I think that was like two and a bit metres. Um, but yeah, this was the last of it so I managed to nab it up on the Saturday so um, those of you who also bought this on the Friday um, will all be looking the same because I mean you're not going to hide in that are you? But I just absolutely love it. It's such good quality and I'm thinking maybe like a long jersey skirt with split like side splits that's what I'm thinking but I might change my mind um I just thought for something so bright it needs to be something quite dress not drastic but a large piece either th oh, that or maybe like a maxi dress would be quite fun in this um but yeah I haven't 100% decided but something along those lines I just can't wait to make something with this Okay, and the last fabric I've got this month is this. Oh my god. Okay, so it's an African print fabric from Dovetailed. Um, again, I'll put the link in the description. Um, they have an Etsy shop. Um, they're based in London. And they contacted me whether or not I wanted to try out some fabric. And oh my gosh. This is just the most amazing print ever. They do so many prints. I was very, very impressed with their range, but basically I couldn't decide which one I liked the best, so I told them to surprise me, and this is what they surprised me with. I'm just, I'm absolutely in love with this. The colour, the pattern, it's just really cool. Now, I've never worked with African fabrics before. Um, they are quite structured, and they feel quite thick, um, but they they are dyed all the way through, which is something that I've never seen before. So both front and back, you get the print on both sides and it looks just as bright. So that's really interesting. Um, now, 
I haven't 100% decided what I'm going to make with this, so I would quite like to hear your thoughts. But looking at a lot of things that people make with African print fabrics, they're quite structured or like quite like big statement pieces. Um, and I'm not going to make anything like traditionally African. Um, I just want to make something using the fabric. So at the moment, I'm sort of thinking uh, like a fitted dress or something like that. Um, I've started a little Pinterest board on my Pinterest, which is just Jessely, um, if you want to have a look at that. Um, but yes, I'm really excited to work with this. I've never worked with a fabric like this. Um, and it's, it, it feels like it's going to be quite easy to do because of how rigid the fabric is. Um, but yeah, I'm just absolutely in awe of this fabric. So I can't wait to do a nice blog post about what I make and how it sews. Um, but yeah, if you are a fan of um, patterns and prints like I am, then definitely check out Dovetailed. I'll put the link in the description. Okay, and the only pattern I bought this month was a denim jacket. So this is the Mesa jacket by Named Clothing. Um, I actually bought this pattern off Minerva Crafts because um, they have quite a good range and named, I can't remember where they're from, either New Zealand or somewhere in America. But anyway, they're not British anyway. Um, so they have a really good range on Minerva Crafts and I just liked the style of this jacket. It's like a bit different, a bit structured, a bit modern um, and each panel um, you can do in sort of different fabrics so you could have sort of two-tone denims and things so I'm actually going to do like I said the plain denim because I've got loads of badges I've actually got loads of sort of material patches that I've been saving for a denim jacket so I think I need to make a plain jacket and then I'll probably use the same pattern again um, for my embroidered denim um, I haven't quite decided but I'll see how the first one goes and then if I like it then I'll use the use it for the embroidered denim but I'm really excited to try this I've never made a denim jacket before um thank you for those of you who were sending me pattern recommendations when I did say I wanted to make a denim jacket there were so many to choose from but I think I like this one the best and if it doesn't turn out then I'll just buy another one and try that one but fingers crossed it well so I really hoped you enjoyed seeing into my fabric stash this month or last month or whatever day it is this is sort of my June stash but we're now in July, but that's how this normally works, isn't it? So I hope you liked it. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment below if there's any fabric shops that you've recently discovered or fabrics that you think I like. Don't just send me links to palm print fabrics because I have so many now, my wardrobe's gonna just look like leaf print. Um, but anything else, even other denims might be quite useful to have a look at. Um, so yeah, put your recommendations below. If you have any questions, always comment. I will try my best to answer them as quickly as possible. And if you aren't subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and thank you everyone who has subscribed already because there's over 8,000 of us now and I did a celebratory video what seems like a couple of months ago where I was like yay there's 2,000 and now we're over 8,000 like this is mind-boggling but it, it's really exciting and I promise you I'm going to bring out loads of new content soon and there is a new video coming out of a little sneak peek at my new sewing space so I'm really excited to show you that and I will see you again next week for another video happy handmade everyone mm -hmm.